Why, are you trying to make me jealous? Don't bring me into your idiotic conversations. Anytime. I will always be there for you. Nothing more than a bunch of overgrown children. Shameful. Is this your way of making me say you're as beautiful as a flower? You make me feel like I could do anything. Wouldn't you do anything you could to stop your people from dying out? Wake up. Wake up. Do I have to sing the wake up song? You're getting a bit too old for this. You, who, it's Mr. Sun. Can you come out and play? You don't have to sing me awake anymore. Oh, oh, I get it. You don't want any of your classmates to hear and get jealous. Not everyone gets such a marvelous musical start to their day. Enough keeping the peace with those guys. I don't need to give them anything else to argue about. What are you doing here this early, though? What? Isn't it enough to want to see my precious daughter? 
It's always enough, Papa. But that could have waited until after school. Well, you're getting to a special time in your life. You know, there's going to be some changes. Yeah, I know, Papa. I'm going to have to choose my element in two weeks. Not just that, physical changes. Your 20th birthday is only two weeks away now, which means your body has already begun the process of uh, maturing. This is really the sort of talk your mother should have had with you. I suppose that can't be helped. I'm sure you remember two years ago, they had a talk with you and your classmates about some of the uh, changes the boys were experiencing. Yeah, I remember. That was an awkward day. Well, it's your time now. They'll talk to you about that today, I imagine. Things are going to be different for you from now on. You know you're the most precious thing in the world to me, and I trust you to take care of yourself. But men are going to be looking at you differently now. Even your classmates, well, especially your classmates. A female elemental is an exceedingly rare thing. The last time this village even had a female elemental come of age was over 200 years ago. And you know the child of a male and female elemental is a pure blood. Many of our people have killed for that sort of power. I know, Papa. You kept me enrolled here in the academy even after I went through the change because you trusted them to keep me safe and teach me to protect myself. Trust in the decision you made and trust me. You're all right, you're all right. I'm so proud of the woman you've become. Speaking of which, I'll be back in two weeks to see your coming-of-age ceremony. Have you given any thought to what element you'd like to choose yet? I've tried, but I don't know, Papa. They all have their own advantages. You could always give the old family element a try. What are you waiting for? That's it, I quit. I'm going back to sleep. Too early in the morning to laugh that hard, eh? You know I'll be happy as long as you're happy. But water wouldn't hurt. Take care of yourself, sweet girl. I'll be seeing you again before you know it. Thanks for everything, Papa. See you soon.
Good morning. Morning, Lux. You look really nice today. Did you do something different with your hair? Thanks. Just the usual. There's definitely something different today. Surely you can't be so naive, Lux. Today is an important day in a female elemental's life. The day her body starts going through some special changes. Darling, you're looking even more scrumptious than usual today. Scrumptious? Do you even hear yourself sometimes? Who says scrumptious? I'm not going to take advice on how to talk to women from a guy that's never even touched one. I could touch plenty of women if I wanted to. I just choose not to. I'm saving myself. Right, right. You're saving yourself. Can you believe this guy, Iggy? Saving himself? The delusion. Saving himself for the scores of women we're going to encounter in our lifetime? Don't bring me into your idiotic conversations. And I'm not going to tell you again. Stop calling me Iggy. Hey now, Rocco, that wasn't cool. Don't be upset. Please accept this as a peace offering. Natty. Ouch! Come on, man, I need those fingers! Roland, your parchment! Nothing more than a bunch of overgrown children.
shameful. What are you thinking, Ignatius, using magic like that in such close quarters? Offensive magic should not be used so thoughtlessly. And you too. Antagonize Ignatius on your own time. Some of us are here to learn. Cheer up, Rowan. It's not like those notes were going to be of any use anyway. Maybe Iggy will let you borrow his. <laughs> 